Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing good. I'm Mohsin. I am a data science fellow at University of Exeter and the Allen Turing Institute in London. In this video, I will be talking about the top most important skills that university students must learn when they are doing their bachelor's, master's or PhDs. So if you are a student who is doing bachelor's, master's or PhD in a university, then this video is for you. So stay tuned and let's have a look uh, what are those important skills. One of the top most important skills that we should learn throughout our educational career is the communication skill. Communication skill helps students and other like professionals to succeed in their job market. Surveys suggest that around 85% of the success in the job market or professional career is due to communication skills. Communication skills help us to communicate our ideas with others, our understandings and to resolve a lot of conflicts. Studies indicate that uh, most of the conflicts at workplace and even like home situation, they arise due to poor communication or bad communication. So communication is a very important skill that I would recommend actually students should learn. Communication skills can include both verbal and written communication. Both verbal and written communication skills are very important to succeed later in your career. So I recommend students uh, when they are in university, they should actively participate in class presentations and if they get a chance, they should must join speaking clubs. Speaking clubs can help them improve their communication, no matter whatever the language is. Then comes the written. Uh, students can improve their written communication skills by actively working in their homework assignments. They can also start writing their blogs. This way they can communicate their ideas, their thoughts, and they can spread or disseminate information with lay public or general public and they can also write popular articles. So when they will be working in these kind of activities, it will be not improving their personal development, but also will be improving their communication skills. The second most important skill that university students must learn is the time management. School, university, they are different settings, different environments. Uh, students face like different kind of circumstances, but in professional life, we have to do a lot in our career. So those people who have strong time management skills, they always go ahead. They try to manage things very professionally and actively. So I suggest students, uh, if you get a chance, learn this important skill. For example, when students are at university, they are actively participating in their classes, they are preparing for their exams, and they are working on their homeworks and assignments. Besides that, uh, they will be working on their sport activities, different events, they will be participating in different management activities. And if some students they like, they will be also participating in student government or student politics. By actively participating in these activities, students will be able to learn how to manage their time. In university, most of the time is uh, we ded dedicate for our education but beside that, we have to learn many other new things for our own professional and personal development. So if a student can learn time management, he or she can actively participate in other activities and improve their personality or can do their professional development also. And this time management skill will help them a lot in their professional career. Third important skill is the creativity. Imagination is an important thing uh, that helps not only find out different solutions, but also add new information. So I would recommend students to have imagination uh, because imagination will bring more innovation and that innovation will ultimately lead to sustainable or effective solutions to our modern day problems. If you see around, our society has a lot of like problems or these are modern day problems and they cannot be solved with the old methods or old techniques. So to solve these problems, like we have food security, we have pollution, we have climate change. So to solve these kind of problems, we need very uh, innovative ideas. So due to these reasons, uh, creativity is an important virtue or a skill that students must work on when they are in their university. Another important skill that I believe actually students lack 
uh, when they come to their uh, professional job market or professional career is the critical thinking. Critical thinking is very important. It's a key and critical skill that students in this time, they should learn. Critical thinking is not only a skill, but it is basically a compound of many different skills, including observation, analyzing that observation, and then making decisions. And that ultimately leads to problem solving. So if you are in university, communicate with people and listen to them, read books, and whatever you read and listen, think critically and take everything with a pinch of salt. Do not just jump and believe in that. Analyze that information and review it through your logical mind and see if it looks like a legitimate or logical thing. So must develop this skill and it will help you a lot in your career. The fifth important skill is the, uh, that is my favorite, is the quantitative skill. Like other skills, quantitative skills are also very important. If you are in university, I would recommend must learn these quantitative skills because they will not only help to manage all these things or to solve problems around you, they will also help you to make decisions to make your life easy as well. Quantitative skills include mathematics, some statistics, some sort of probability to evaluate if things happen or some phenomena they happen by chance or they happen randomly and learn something about economics. These mathematical or economical skills will always like they join each other and will help you in making like budget in your life, financing and ultimately a good and effective decision making. I have seen people uh, in different departments who have strong quantitative skills. They are always in good books and every hiring manager, professors or boss, they want to grab them because of their quantitative skills. Uh, so they are very important, must learn those. Last but not least is the computer skill. We are living in the 21st century. The first quarter of 21st century has almost gone and we have seen in these 20, like 22, 23 years, we have seen a boom in IT, information technology, computer technology, mobile phone, self-driven cars and so on. If you are a university student and uh, about to graduate or you plan to excel in your career, must learn computer skills. Computer skills can be anything that we can do using the laptop or computers. For example, if you are working on your homework assignment, you should be aware of what are the writing tools that you can choose. If you are presenting your data, uh, making like graphs or charts, you should be aware of the tools that you can use to prepare different like aesthetics and very state of the art graphics. If you are a student who is working on presenting data or uh, presenting information, they should be aware of the some of the like presentation tools like Microsoft PowerPoint. If you are a programmer or related to field like electrical engineering, mathematics, physics, statistics and uh, computer science, you should be aware of different programming tools. And then last but not least is the analytical tools, including R, Python, SPSS and so on. So I have seen people like they excel with a high pace if they are good with the computer skills in this era. So they are must. If you went to, even like if you went to school, uh, university, college. So these were the important six skills that I found uh, that students at university must learn beside their field specific or specialization specific skills. So if you are coming to job market and looking for good jobs in the future, at least learn these kind of skills. And you will see, you will go places. So that was all for today. And let me know if you have any question. See you in next video. Bye.